Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Things. Previously, we have discussed about list slicing in Python. In this video, we are going to learn about what are the built-in functions available in Python to perform certain operations on list. Let's get into the computer screen and let's get started. Now I am inside my VS code and I want to create a python file here so for that I will click here and give the name as tutorial33 underscore list functions dot py and then hit enter then you can see the file is created. Now I will create a list here so for that I will write the variable name as suppose lst and lst is equal to i'll create a list of numbers that is 2 4 6 8 and 10 then you can see it is a list and uh, i want to perform certain operations so i want to find the length of the list okay to find length of the list there is a function available in python that is len function so i'll write a print function here and inside print function i'll write len okay so this is the built-in function available in python to calculate length of a list so we are using this same function to calculate the length of the string also okay so we will use this len function to calculate the length of the list also so i will pass here the list now if i run this file then you can see it will calculate the entire length of the list so you can see here the length of the list is 5 so that's why it is printing 5 here okay so let me clear the terminal and i'll show you another thing here uh, let me comment it and now i want to reverse the list okay so for that there is a built-in function available in python that is reverse function if i write here lst then dot reverse okay and uh, now again if i print here uh, the value of lst then you can see what happens now if i run this file then you can see it will reverse the entire list okay i want to find the index of a particular element present inside the list okay so for that there is a function available that is index function i'll write a print function here and inside print function i'll write lst dot index okay so this is the index function which is a built-in function available in python so now i want to find the index of suppose 6 okay so the value uh, which i want to find the index i need to pass the value here okay so i want to find the value of 6 that means the index of 6 so that's why i need to pass 6 here okay so now if i run this file then you can see it is uh, printing 2 that means the index number is 2 so you can see here this is index number 0 this is index number 1 and this is index number 2 okay so that's why it is printing 2 here so instead of 6 if i pass here 10 and uh, now let me clear the terminal and now if i run this file again then you can see it is printing 4 okay so that means the index of this 10 is 4 so let me clear the terminal and uh, let me comment this print statement here and uh, now i want to remove an element from this list okay so for that there is a function available in python that is pop okay so i will simply write here lst dot pop okay so now if i print uh, the given list then you can see what happens uh, let me run this file if i run here then you can see it will print 2 4 6 8 it is uh, now removed the value 10 okay from this list so this pop function will remove the last value from this list okay so if i uh, do here another pop sorry i'll write here lst dot pop and again i will print the value of lst then you can see what happens now let me clear the terminal and now if i run this file then you can see uh, in the first print statement it will print 2468 that means it will remove the last element that is 10 now our list having 2468 that means four elements 
and when we are doing pop operation second time then it will again remove the last element that is 8 so that's why it is printing 2 4 and 6 okay so in this way you can use this pop function or pop method to remove the last element from the given list okay so let's say i want to remove a particular element from this list then how can i do that so for that there is a built-in function available in python that is remove function i will write here just uh, lst and then i will write here dot uh, remove and inside it i need to specify the element which i want to remove okay so i want to remove the element 6 so now after that if i print the value of lst then you can see what happens so let me run this file then you can see here the six element is removed from the list okay so in this way you can remove a particular element uh, from a list by using this remove function okay let's say i want to insert a particular element at a particular index of this list okay so for that there is a built-in function available in python that is insert function i'll simply write here the list name and then dot i'll call the insert function here and uh, now this insert function will take two parameters first parameter is the index and the second parameters is the value so i want to insert in the third index uh, the value is let's say abc okay so i want to insert this string abc inside this list at index number three okay so now if i print uh, the value of lst that is the list and uh, now if i run this file then you can see the abc string is inserted at the index number three here okay you can see here this is the index number zero this is index number one and this is index number two and it is index number three now from the given list i want to find the maximum element present inside the list so to find that there is a built-in function available in python that is max function okay so i'll write simply a print function here and inside print function i will call the max function okay so inside max function i need to pass the list okay so now if i run this file then you can see it will print the maximum element present inside the list so now i have a list here and uh, I want to arrange all the elements present inside the list in ascending order okay that means I want to sort this list in ascending order so for that there is a built-in function available in Python that is sort function I will simply write here lst dot sort and now if I print the value of lst then you can see uh, now if I run this file then you can see it will sort the entire list okay you can see here the list is sorted now in ascending order okay so if you want to arrange all the elements in descending order then how can you do that so for that you need to just write inside this sort function you need to just write one statement that is uh, reverse is equals to true okay reverse is equals to true so now if I uh, run this file then you can see what happens then you can see it will print the list in descending order okay that means it will arrange all the elements inside the list in descending order uh, now i want to find how many times a particular element present inside this list okay so to do that there is a built-in function available in python that is count function i'll simply write a print function here and inside print function i'll write lst dot count and uh, this count function will take one parameter that is the value which i want to count okay so let's say i want to count how many times four is present so that's why i have to pass the four inside this count function okay so now if i run this file then you can see it is printing three that means the four the four is present inside the list three times you can see here this one time and this is second time this is third time okay so that's why it is printing three so let me clear the terminal and uh, i will comment all these things and uh, now i'll show you another function that is uh, let's say i will create here a list one and uh, let's say it is one two three and uh, another list that is list two having the elements suppose four five and six 
now if i want to extend this list one with list two then how can i do that then there is a built-in function available in python that is extend function okay so i will simply write here lst1 dot extend okay and inside this extend i i will pass here lst2 okay so now if i print uh, the value of lst1 then you can see what happens if i run this file then you can see this list one is extended with the elements of list two okay you can see here it is printing one two three four five six okay so in this way you can extend two list or you can extend one list with uh, the elements of another list okay so let me comment all these things and i'll show you another thing here uh, let's say i want to completely remove a list that means i want to remove all the elements from a list so i will create a list here and uh, i'll let's say write one two three four five okay so this is a list i want to remove all the elements from the list so to remove all the elements there is a function available in python that is clear function i'll just write here lst dot clear and uh, now if i print uh, the value of lst then you can see what happens so let me clear the terminal first and now if i run this file then you can see the list is empty now so now i want to add a element to the list okay that means i want to insert some element to the list so how can i do that so to insert an element or to append an element to a list there is a built-in function available in python that is append function so i will just write here the list name as lst and then dot append okay so i will just call here the append function and inside append function i will pass the value so let's say i want to append a okay uh, so then if i print the value of list that is lst then you can see what happens now if i run this file then you can see this a is append inside this list okay so this a is uh, inserted at the end of the list okay so now again if i instead of uh, appending a if i write here let's say i want to append 10 and now if i run this file then you can see what happens now if i run this file then you can see this 10 is append inside the list and it is inserted inside the list at last position so similarly you can append any number so i will write here lst dot append again i want to append suppose 20 and now if i run this file then you can see it will append first 10 then second time it will append 20 okay so in this way you can use this append function to append some value into a list okay so this is it for now we will continue from this onwards in our next video thank you for watching this video